Hey guys, introducing Matea Delvater. Hopefully I got your name right there. But um, I'm perfectly fine. <laughs> yeah, that's all good. All right. So that's, it took a few goes, but yeah. I still probably fucked it up. But, all right. <laughs> I'm just going to let it go. Yeah, you let it go. Let it go. <laughs> it's like, good. All right. All right. Let's finally get this. Uh, it's good to get this going. And um, yeah, like, so I've. Uh, I remember doing an artist spotlight for you and I found um, yeah. yeah, some of your work was, well, a lot of your work was really cool. And uh, thank you. Thank you. I really enjoyed checking it out and it was good to see uh, another a hard surface guy um, using, you know, very much uh, the subdivision modeling, which is, it's, I don't know, it's pretty rare these days, right? Um, yeah, but yeah. for me, I don't know, it's like, it's uh, it's funny because I, I just came from back from Paris and I'm kind of gave like, uh, just uh, opening some class work, mm. uh, some students, cl some class about topology and I can't help it, always explain them like, if you make a car, it's the first thing you kind of want to do is just learn how to do clean topology, how to mm. make, it, uh, make it a solid mesh without having to rely on, I don't know, on floaters on ZBrush and I just mm. want people first to understand the basics before they start using fancy stuff basically yeah um and that's something that I till this day like it makes me a little bit slower but I still think it's it's nice to just explore shapes and just try to understand how they work and how they look elegant by just using mm. clean topology yeah um and look it it um that type of modeling it offers something that other applications can't I've um always thought that and yeah, like you can't pull off some of these shapes with CAD, and that—that's the mixer of um, I think what's going to come. Hopefully, come now is that I think a lot of people got like they jump on the CAD um, bandwagon and they forget about maybe mix, mixing the elements. You know, both of them across. Yeah. And so. Yeah, I mean, this is like an example. Like, it's a very stupid and extreme example, but like, even if I have to make cloth, like, if mm. this would be the final example, I would first still make it in a really geo clean topology way just mm. to understand and even if it comes to making like really defined shapes like this like this little uh triangle shape i still would try to make it and then at the end i would then i would start adding like a lot of seabush elements but i would yeah i would always first try to understand the shape and just kind of challenge myself to make it and like even if it comes to these kind of things i would just afterwards pulling them in yeah. and uh con con continue uh maybe it's also just this is an example of a lack of experience in Marvel designer that I still feel like I have to hang on to. Uh, so with the one, apology. yeah, with the one on the right there, have you? Is that uh, marvelous design? That is just no, that is that? just sculpted. So it's this so, with yeah. a basic, and then just some alphas just to make it a little bit more defined. Mm. Uh, and I'm still not happy with it, but uh, it just oh, I just took this example to show that, like, well. uh, so yeah, it's, it's if, like if, alpha. Uh, cloth detailing that you've put on exactly top. Yeah. uh just alpha brushes just yeah. a little bit not too much uh and i feel like it work it works good enough and i, I think this it is really always like well, actually that, that thank you worked, yeah um yeah i feel like clear topology can get you very far and it's just f basic understanding of of yeah of, of lines there's, mm. there's not a lot of magic to it it's just understanding a shape and understanding how how lines flow yeah so, yeah have you um have you because I know you use the subdivision have you, like on that one there have you used any creasing you haven't used any creasing on it? uh never um no. you and should, you should machine, try it out a little bit just a little bit I know like uh, and we we have a lot of arts at machine games who use a uh, modo and mm. they use edge creasing and edge weighting and mm. I, it always looks really nice but the only reason I'm not gonna lie the only reason I'm not using it is because when I put it into key shot it doesn't it doesn't support it so uh oh, okay. it feels like if i have to go back to a key shot i have to redo it anyway Why so i feel like well you could subdivide your mesh and then decimate exactly it. I, yeah. I could do that but i've like it's a bit selfish for me i always think like oh but if i have to hang again at a high poly i just want to be able to press one button and be done with it not have yeah. to go back and well, it's collapse never, and it's um, never like that is it <laughs> no exactly yeah. so uh but i feel like i definitely should i i, I do i using edge kissing there is a like a, a method that i'm working on because i'm rebuilding a helmet at the moment so i'm going to use yeah? edge creasing and and then i'm going to convert it i'm going to subdivide it once and then take that subdivision mesh and then uh, further detail it and take the the weighted edge creasing and then um, just work with the, the weighted edge, cre edge, edge creasing. Because so when, once you subdivide it once, say if you came in here and sub uh, put some edge creasing in and then you subdivide it once, the, um, the topology will go towards that area and define that area more for you. And it just helps you. Okay. So once you're working with a level one subdivision and you've 
moved on from the next part of working it, it, you can just ramp up and so it's, yeah. a, it's a good way to work i'll be doing a thing on it uh the tutorial on it soon but it's something i'm trying out because um yeah working like say stuff on like that there like that's pretty difficult to do if you used edge creasing right it would be yeah. easier but then what you do is so you have that that level subdivision right and then you subdivide it yeah. by one right with that with edge creasing and then you further work it with then yeah. so you have your um your loops sorted out at a certain level it's it's a technique yeah. then yeah you you'd grab that and then work with that and further detail on that it's yeah. a similar method should... to what vitali vitali does and stuff like that but okay. it's taking it's mi mixing two methods in one i so. actually never thought about it i should really check it and just try mm. to see what comes out of it it's actually a good point i should tell yeah, you because yeah. look at look at that topology you got there right you've got more more to work yeah. with and if you had edge creasing right um you could easily just um just uh pu push push in s some of the topology to sharpen up the edges you want it sharp and then yeah take away take away excess topology because it creates a lot of excess topology and so what you is yeah. you're kind of working forwards and then backwards but then you've got this new mesh and the thing is that, yeah um the one it's cleaned up and it's easy mm. to work on yeah, yeah for sure no, but, definitely. Uh, I should definitely have a look in it. Uh, that's a good point, actually. But that's, um, but that's something that's pretty cool. There. Like, so I know from Machine Games, you guys are working in that style. What's, um, what brought you guys to that style to, of working? Uh, well, I joined just after they finished uh, The New Order, which was uh, the first game done by Machine Games, which kind of set the style. But uh, it's kind of, it, it's for sure, it kind of started flowing into my personal work as well. Mm. But if it comes to uh, art style, we would always say, uh, I had this presentation, I have, um, let's see what it is, talk. Um, we have only three concept arts, and they're really, really good. Mm. Uh, these are the kind of quality of pop, uh, concepts we get. Yeah, but awesome. at the same time, there's a lot of freedom if it comes to uh, getting that concept and translating it, translating it into the TD. Mm. So a lot of the art director really pushes us to the artist to kind of design stuff for ourselves. Mm. So what would happen is you would get something like this for the back and it would be like, look, we didn't have time to make this. Just make just make it match the, the front uh, style. So we would always say it's, if it goes to machine games, it's a lot of machine Kiga stuff. It's a lot of just unnecessary detail to make something look really cool and complicated. Yeah. Like a lot of designs we do don't make any sense without yeah. that, but yeah. it looks cool. And that's yeah. the first tool we have. Mm. Like I know a lot of games go about it first engineering it has to make sense we kind of the opposite it has to look really cool it has to mm. be memorable um and that's the main thing and i would say one of the biggest things we have is that we are a studio that is very hard very much based on hard surface so uh making all these games we have a lot of hard surface kit batch libraries mm. that we can use yeah um very very small team but we're very efficient if it comes to reusing stuff from other um Things so like if I would show this one, there's a lot of uh, um, re recurring assets on another model I'm going to do for them. So if it comes to designing, a lot of stuff is getting done by the three concept artists. One is doing vehicles, mm. um, characters. The other one is doing um, small props, uh, posters, and then one person is doing all the environments. So it's only three, uh, three concept artists, but they're really good at one specific thing or mm. one specific area. And next is that the cons uh, or art director is not that how you, how would you say it? like anal if it comes to oh this is not exactly like the concept there's yeah. room for exploration and we know yeah. that Wolfstein is kind of a, a, I would say like a funny you know not funny but like we don't take ourselves we take ourselves seriously mm. but not to the point where everything every part of every design has to make sense there's room yeah. for just you meant to have making just, it just have fun with it yeah yeah you, exactly you, it's you're, like you're the first impression has to be like. Mm. Wow, I want to get close to this and look at it. Not like, oh shit, this this is not gonna work. Yeah. So like this thing just came from space and just came into the floor, and we were all like, how does this work? And like, mm. we don't know. We're not we're not engineers. It's like, yeah. just make it look cool and make it memorable. And yeah. People will. I think that's that's, nice yeah, that, that's when you know lots of um, detail is good and stuff like that, where you're really just trying to make something look cool. And, and, and yeah, you, you always have to. You do have to um, save time and things like that. And I know. Um, I guess I, I I did a YouTube video on how people kind of get too carried away with it, but you know you have the time and place to do it, and that's the time and place. Yeah. 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 So, it's it's one thing that um, you you do see, you see it used well, and you don't you like 
I look at that and it's not abused in a way and that's that's a good thing so it's um still it's done with a taste and it's done with uh respect to because everything because i i played to all the wolfenstein games the new ones yeah. I, I thought they're really cool and especially the first one was really um like i guess because it's the that first, new one newish feeling yeah i think we all love the first one the most because yeah. we felt like every location was unique and it yeah. felt like fresh and every time the we all work, like to work in Nicholas, but the first one had some kind of magic to it. Uh, yeah. Which we, yeah, for it, we feel the same. It, um, it's, it's funny like that, right? Um, uh, how you can do it the second time; it doesn't. It's not there, not quite there. Yeah. 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 Even with the same it. amount of people or the same directors, it's like yeah. Tried it, but I wouldn't say we fell. But we all, when we asked everyone in the studio, we all were like, yeah, you know what, the first one had something more magical to it but we all yeah. love working on the second one and the other ones but the first one was a special one for us yeah yeah um, yeah it's always an interesting thing yeah that's that's uh, pretty yeah, intense that uh topology there so how how, uh, how how long would you be spending on so say something like that that would take it take some time to i would to say do. two to three weeks but that would yeah. be full on like i like yeah. to work like um, i'm the person that we all say crunch is bad and all the company doesn't force it on you and i completely agree with it with that and machine is but there's some sort of pride if it comes to something like this so mm. i would take it home or i would just take a couple of hours longer mm. um but most of the time i would just start with something really small like i would it sounds silly but i would start with just making this part like the engine block mm. um because again like if i look at the concept there is no concept for that it is there's nothing well there's something but it's not like so defined yeah so for me that is kind of i don't gonna i'm not gonna ask my concept parts to give me more than that i'm like he's occupied with other things but for me that's like okay this is not that defined mm. this is for me like a small art corner and i would just start making pieces and just chip away on it um and that's basically how i i just start working all over the place um yeah and i just make a small art corner and that was the art corner like this and i would be like going to my architect and be like look this is what i have this is yeah. the amount of detail i see color mm. scheme color distribution um and he would be like okay um, I have faith in this kind of detail or mm. size. I would work, work my way up. And sometimes, like the only time I, I think I have this in a in a concept as well. There was only one time that um, I was a little bit like, oops, going. Okay, uh, I wasn't sure about stuff. Mm. Um, and then, like, this is basically the presentation. It's uh, it just like I would just start working all over the place, and I would be like, oh, I like I see this part, this part, and I would just start modeling. Mm. Uh, I'm horrible at big shapes. Like when I see you model stuff, uh, I'm kind of jealous of how you can just sculpt and you just kind of try to come up with a shape on the spot. Yeah, that for me doesn't work. Yeah. I, I just get a panic attack. So I need to <laughs> okay. basically start yeah. looking at stuff, and I'm like, okay, I cannot sit around and just start making big shapes and go back and forth. I need to You're, be sure um, about what I'm doing. Uh, I think you get you get you get honed in on the detail. You, you like that yeah exactly yeah so i feel like if i just start making all the details and i start just chipping away on it i feel productive because if yeah. i would do a big shape at the start i would never be sure what i'm doing um yeah and this is what i wanted to show uh this is what sometimes happens if if we get problem machine games uh about i don't understand this or i need more detail they're just going to give you a little sketch and it's still very open to imagination mm. um how does it look but at least it gives you a nudge in the back to be like look something like this something with a sphere something with two it, layers uh, yeah. nothing mm. yeah and i like it it's like it's not too defined it, it's there's room for imagination but it's, it also steers you in the right direction and i feel like that's what i personally need is somebody to just give me like a little push to like style but then i can just define it myself mm. way further than that um yeah so you, you, I, I think you probably underestimate your, your your ability i think um it does just take a bit of uh practice to to do the the, the big forms and stuff like that it's um i guess you there, there's probably a, like a, maybe a lot of want it like your need to get in there and start detailing there's like you get yeah maybe you get too excited too fast and you're like oh then i then you overthink oh you know how would i how would i do all this and because you're thinking maybe about the details because like you're approaching you the way i saw you approach this was interesting because you went and made a little thing first which was interesting i've never seen anyone do yeah. that before um uh yeah like i, I can't show it. this is a very funny but like if uh you, you can keep talking about it. i'm doing it as showing yeah. this but but uh, i was just saying like it's like when i make a door i would block it out and i would get so unsure about the shape and what i would do afterwards i would just start 
doing these things, I would start p- placing the details. Mm-hmm. And by doing that, that's how I kind of see like, oh, everything is in the correct place. Everything, the distance makes sense. Mm. And then I start connecting them up. And then I'm sure about my shape. Oh, um, yeah, yeah. I, I, I've, uh, I know what you mean by that. Yeah. Like it's temporary. So it's like a it, placeholder. Yeah, until, it's like the it details using yeah, yeah details as placeholders. Still, I'm completely sure. Like like you see, I first make the hatches and I start placing them where I think they should be. Mm. And when I'm completely sure, then I'm gonna make the underlying shape. And I'm like, okay, this is the shape I have. I'm gonna start exploring it a little bit, but not defining it too much either. Mm. Um, and it would just be a bit like this. And I, and I, yeah, I, you could always place off like this and just be like, oh, this is my hatch. But mm. I feel like, why don't you? F- just make the fucking hatch and be productive, yeah. place it, and then afterwards you can be like, okay, this was not big enough, I need to scale it down or up. Because I yeah. hate, I know people do block us and they just do this, and I'm like, what? Well, this is not representing the hatch in a way I want to see it mm. represent. I want to see the. So, so that's kind of how I Do you work. do half a hatch? I, I would tend to, like, the way I do my stuff is that I would do, um, like, a. a kind of secondary detail level of something and then i just ramp it all up i'll do like a, a big pass and then a secondary yeah. pass and then then the third but yeah. the problem is I, I would i would forget about it and i'm like ah, you know what that's good enough now i'm not gonna go back so I've, yeah. i'm the person that kind of i want to push it all the way i don't want to have it back in my head like shit i need to go back to every asset now and kind of finish <laughs> it up i i prefer like every day like look i'm gonna have this hatch done this part this part mm. and then move on um, if you um if you didn't have a concept would you still work like yeah. that would you still do that? Definitely. That, yeah. Definitely. Because, um, like, uh, I can show you some stuff I'm doing at home now, at personal work. Uh, when I, I'm, I'm going to do this thing, like, to, to, no, like, like um, the thing is, I, I have a big reference folder of just random shit, and if I, I'm not, if I'm stuck in mm. designing things, I just start making random details, and I've gone this gigantic kid bash library of things mm. that I don't know what they are, but then when I, I just keep making things, and when I get stuck, I just go to this library and just start slapping things in so if i would open uh for example um i have this helmet um so you mean um if you get stuck on a a design that you're doing you go to a library and grab parts is that yeah well yeah so for that like i would start making more kid bash pieces myself Mm. and then i would try to use them afterwards not like i'm not forcing myself to use them but i'm like okay is there Mm. anything in this gigantic library that can can fix my problem yeah um but otherwise, like I, if I show you, for example, this, uh, this is something I'm still working on. Uh, this backpack, um, everything I'm doing on that backpack was derived from a, a shape. So if yeah. I would open um, this, it's like I just used this helmet, this quarantine like uh, like safety helmet, mm. and that became kind of the shape of the uh, okay. this. Yeah. Um, so for me, I'm I'm horrible. I wouldn't say I'm horrible at designing, but I'm horrible at designing on the spot. I need the reference for everything. Mm. And I interpret it in a different way, but I need something to start with, basically. Yeah. Um, so this became the main frame, and I was like, "Oh, this could be the backpack," and just drilling some holes in it. And then the uh, jetpack just came out of uh, let's see this kind of engine part. Um, mm. I just did it upside down, and and then that shape underneath it came from let's see uh, okay. this this part. Yeah. So for me, um, you're um like you're, you're, I need you're using reference. I need real life. It. Yes, exactly. No, that, yeah, that makes sense That's, to me. Yeah, yeah. Uh, so for me, that makes it believable. But if it comes to machine game stuff, I don't have time for that. So then I just mm. kind of, I just kind of, if I get a concept, I just kind of look from a distance and try to make it look cool. Like this mm. is not based on anything. Yeah. Um, but that's what I'm trying to do with my personal work. I try to make it all based on real, real life stuff and then combine them into some sort of kind of sci-fi universe. Yeah. And if it comes to machine games, I just get the concept. I don't zoom in too much. I just do what I think is good enough, yeah. um, make it look cool. And I know at the end, it's a game. Uh, that's the thing that kind of hurts me. I think yeah. it's the same when you do robots or something. You like yeah. people just walk around them and like, oh, cool. Next, next thing. Yeah. It's like, why yeah. didn't you fucking look at it? It's like, so <laughs> I, when it comes to machine games or my professional work in the game industry, I always try to take a step back and not take things too personally and just be like, okay, yeah, it's you, just an asset. It has to look cool, mm. uh, but I'm not going to lose myself and making sure this makes all sense. Or, yeah, uh, yeah, yeah. I'm surprised so, yeah. You, you're taking it home and working on it. That's some, that's some hardcore dedication. You get well, tired, it's more like some you? assets like uh, some assets like I really want to put some extra love in it, like this one. Uh, yeah. But like then like some other stuff like, okay, eight hours at the office, I'm done. Yeah. But some stuff is like, 
either we cut it or either we give it to some another artist and sometimes okay. like no, I really want to do this piece. Yeah, so I get like, you. So there's like attachment um, to it. That's what that's that yeah, makes exactly. Sense some yeah. kind of pride that like I don't yeah. want to get this away now. I don't want anybody else to touch this. Which do, so yeah. Do but they, if it comes to are they pretty good with bonuses? If you if you're doing that, do you, are you getting rewarded for going above and beyond? Uh, or? Yeah, yeah, we we have a, a nice system of like yeah. the directors know, and it's also like if you stay longer, you have to let the director know like, hey, I'm gonna be here tonight, and then it's like, mm. okay, either way, you get a one-to-one conversation, which mm. is like if you come in in the weekend or you stay in late, mm. you're gonna get that those hours back, or you say like, I don't need this, but then it gets, it, they they don't forget about it when it comes yeah. to yearly so bonuses. It's, it's uh, of course, it's, it's not it's not yeah, it's not yeah. all up to us. It also like if if all the game if Doom would have been. A bad game it would affect the bonuses but if it was a mm. good year you shipped some good games there's definitely some good stuff in mm. there uh, so it's good. like we only yeah. like 100 we're not a, we're not a very big studio i would say around 100 people uh, a good, so a it makes number. it very easy yeah. yeah it makes it very easy for the actors to see who's productive and we have stand-ups and every day we we kind of know what we're doing mm. um so i would say you i know some companies they have like so many employees that you just can get you can get lost and you, yeah you can yeah. sit at your desk and not do anything and you get get away with it <laughs> yeah at machine games i say i think we may be like 20 artists in total if yeah. it comes to to the artist uh environmental artists together That's, yeah. and it's very easy to see who's lacking behind who has a problem mm. uh, so i would say it's it's a healthy competition having such a small team where everybody's so talented and capable yeah. but it's like oh shit if i'm not gonna step up somebody else is gonna do this really yeah. cool model on yeah. this thing so uh, yeah no, that's so, good yeah. yeah so show us some of these uh wires wireframe view for some uh, of these yeah. things uh, it's always like interesting it to, uh, i think yeah like, uh, seeing wireframe of uh subdivision modeling is always interesting there's an art form yeah like um yeah for sure i, I mm. <laughs> the same actually yeah uh, i think also like goggles like i always like this is like uh nitrogen goggles. i i I don't know why, but I feel like building a shape up nicely with booleans and just chipping away on it and just mm. excuse me, uh, working on it. It's it's just I don't know. I, I, for me, people are like, how do you do this? But I'm like, just you just, you, just start working on it. Yeah, and just yeah, I know what you mean. <laughs> there's no mad diff. to me. There's not like I see like when I see your helmets, I had the same like holy shit. Mm. Like how did you make that? And how did you do the project? But at the same time, I'm like, you probably just start with an easy shape and just start building it up and yeah. add it more detail and start yeah. subtracting things. It's not like something you you do in like one hour. It's something that takes a couple of hours and you just yeah. keep working and well, go back and forward to it. I think um, it's, it's subdivision modeling is not an instant result. That's the problem. No, it's um, it's like you'll spend a day or two and then you'll get your result. And that's um, yeah, yeah, that's how it works. And but it's more the shapes are more organic and more more organic with the mix of hard surface and i think um i think people have kind of like forgot about it because it is so difficult and the thing is with those with those certain art forms that are difficult they usually are the the best art forms for certain things and so then when you kind of go no i'm not going to use subdivision modeling for nothing you miss out on that type of exactly. art form exactly so, and i feel like a lot a lot of people are now these days are like looking at people like doing speed models or the quick Z brush things or fusion. And I'm like, it's mm. all really cool being so quickly. But why don't you just learn the basics first and just start understanding how shapes work and mm. how they? And it's like I feel like if you use like this is a stupid example maybe but this this was made subdivision like everything mm. and then afterwards you can still kind of play with it and just bend it and you bend it. if you have clean topology yeah. if you have clean topology everything is possible like this Works. became the yeah. uh, that worked really it became good became the earpiece yeah. Um, no, so, I, I, that's how I would have done it as well. If um, I've I've done a similar thing. I did an earpiece lately, and I know that I would bend it round and kind of warp it. Yeah, and, and then you yeah. just squeeze it a little bit back yeah. and forth, and it's like it doesn't need to be perfect. But and at the end, it's like it's a lot of wounds and just cleaning it back up. And mm. I, I remember when I went to school uh, a month ago in Paris, and when I told people like, "Oh, we're gonna do." high surface modeling in max they were like oh shit we, we all use zbrush i'm like can you make a car in zbrush i'm pretty <laughs> sure you can but like why don't we first learn the basics and learn why you can what well, first of all people always think you can have end guns it's like that's bullshit you can you can get away with so many end guns nobody cares yeah but it's just knowing it will uh, render where it. you can get away with them yeah and yeah. how you can get away with them yeah. and it's like that's a lot of stuff that people start forgetting these days um, yeah well look if you put an end gone and then if you're um well the thing is if you leave if you put the end gone in a really obvious spot you leave it up yeah. to the, the uh 
the engine to TDI. to yeah. flip it for you which way cut which way it want to cut because it has to convert it to triangles right so and then it yeah like, so you just hide it in, in yeah. spots where you know it's not going to affect anything yeah and that's just i don't know for me there's no well you've got lots or... lots of end guns on uh see oh, yeah. having them on that top surface you never know you might add a texture to that and it might mess up but if you if you know if you're not yeah. going to add a texture to it and it won't mess up like that's that's the difference um, like over here so as well like you get a little much but at the same time like look this is going to be seen from this distance like yeah. am i really want to spend maybe two hours fixing it like yeah. it is a bit annoying now i'm looking at it but it's like at the same time there's only so much you can do and i'm like yeah. i think you would um, i think you would really like edge creasing if you um I, i'm yeah. definitely gonna have a look at it now I actually i really want this mm. but like like for me like people are like how many modifiers do you see i'm like well, in the whole fucking max tech, maybe bent. Yeah. That's it. Maybe bent path modifier because I like to mm. just make something and then just having it follow the path uh, like this. And then I just always make sure I have like copies so I can keep working on it yeah. back and forth and instancing. Yeah. But so a lot of things are big. Updates. Yeah. 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 That's, that's like, a great way to work. It, it's funny. Like when people see stuff like this, they're like, oh, that looks so cool. Yeah. But that took maybe like two hours to make and mm. maybe two hours is a lot of time but for me mm. it's like i don't mind spending two hours in the evening just modeling a shape and just making it look cool and understanding that shape and yeah filling things up and it's like it's not a waste of time if i'm not using it it goes into my kid bash library mm. and that's it um and you do get faster and I, you do get faster even if it's like yeah minute, exactly exactly you get faster and faster um at doing it, these things yeah and i feel like it's never a waste of time to make pieces if you're not using them it's like say mm. you, you learn some new methods you learn how shapes work how they look uh material definition how and I've, that's the thing i feel like a lot of people always feel like oh i want to be a really good artist but I'm, that's why i kind of felt like i was lucky at when i started being a student or i started out i just start making realistic stuff and mm. after i started understanding shapes and industrial design that's something like maybe now i can do some sci-fi stuff yeah um, yeah a lot of people these days they just want to start immediately with the sci-fi stuff like sci-fi hallways or sci-fi helmets i'm like yeah well you know when when you design something i guess you as well you look at realistic stuff and you kind of kind of take things apart and kind of start understanding mm. things and yeah everything is based on something right like when yeah. you make your robots you still think about muscles or like mm. how something yeah I, you... I, I don't know it feels like everything has an origin um mm. and people for, tend to forget that well but if it comes to modeling it's it's all well i think when yeah. people see when people look at this stuff they think oh it's really difficult um there has to be an easier way right i mean but yeah when you when you go well look you had to actually move all this topology around and get it into place maybe you've subdivided it in some areas and it looks more complicated but maybe but um you you essentially have to get hands on like to get these shapes you have to get hands on and get dirty yeah. dirty with it like there's no there's no easy shortcut and i think um yeah people people are they want these results and i guess with like say zbrush it, it offers you a quick result like if you can just go in you drag some alpha maps and yeah you'd be done with it but the thing is it's 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 like the result is limited to a certain um the way the, the for a certain way you're functioning in that in the application and so if you come in here and you make all these shapes with polys and stuff you kind of like you with subdivision modeling there's an argument that you're somewhat limited, but you're somewhat not limited. Subdivision modeling, like yeah. you can get a lot of shapes out of it, like a lot of shapes, but it just like it just takes more time, right? Exactly. And, like that's yeah. the thing. I I I feel like like I saw you talk about like even small. Like a lot of people just rely on the alphas mm. just to have their inspiration. I feel like that's the first problem they do. Like you should make sure you can model anything yourself, or you can mm. make your own alphas or your own brushes, and then yeah. you can do yeah. whatever you want you can define um, and sure yeah. yeah i feel like if it comes to hard like this kind of modeling yes i'm I'm way more slow than other people then i still feel like by doing it so much i can start making up for it and i i feel at the end i can still be proud of these shapes mm. um this is gonna take a while but like this is all put in this is one shape nicely nicely done with topology and i'm that's why I like to show white frames on, on our station as well because I'm mm. proud of the kind of yeah yeah props here <laughs> how it was done. Um, it's, it's I think you're the only guy, so maybe <laughs> yeah. It's a bit I, it's a bit sad. I'm like, come on, guys, it's not it's not that hard. Like everybody mm. back in the days, this was the only way of doing it. Like uh, no, but I think even no Fusion 2D. I think some people forget to do it. Also, 
like forget to do yeah. it. So, but I, I think um, we're, we're going to see more mix of um, like fusion and subdivision modeling and things like that. I think we'll see a mix. I think we always tend to favor the new technique and where everyone runs towards yeah. it and everyone jumps in and then we're like, oh, everyone's doing it, right? Like you would say there's more people using CAD um, modeling more than ever, even though CAD was always for engineering purposes. And the thing is, <laughs> we're, we're like fantasy designers. We're not even doing anything realistic, but we're like, no, do, we're, exactly. we're, we're, we've kind of like dived into the engineering area and we think we're going <laughs> to use their tools to make fantasy things. Yeah. I don't know, I'm not sure if it quite works like that because it's like, they're probably it looking at our stuff from, for inspiration. So yeah, exactly. Yeah. And I feel like it kind of takes away a bit of your inspiration or like your freedom as well. If everything has to be realistically engineered, it's like, yeah, yeah. well, maybe I want to have some artifacts in this. So maybe I want to have like a little, like more artifact here or something. I feel, yeah, I, I can't help it, but I feel very, if, if I have model stuff just this way, I feel very confident. It's like, I know mm. what I do. I just have to clean it up afterwards. I need to make sure my boots are cleaned up. Um, and it's to a point where I'm, I look at the shape, I'm like, it's going to take some time. I'm pretty sure I'm going to be stuck for a couple of hours. Mm. But at the end, it's going to look cool. Um, yeah, is it, with that shape, you're making all the shapes and then bullying, bullying them together yeah, exactly. and then get the mesh um, to work with subdivision modeling and yeah. things like that. So yeah. if I would show this, it would just be a cylinder and just different shapes. And I would just mm. like, this is look cool. And at the end, when I'm completely sure about my design, then I'm going to start pulling things in. Mm. And I would have like maybe 10 iterations next to each other. But every everyone having a bullying operation, so I can mm. go back afterwards and be like I didn't like this one that much. Um, mm. But yeah, for me, it's just at the end, I, I'll I'll look at this and I'm like, okay, once for shape, once it was a challenge, but it mm. looks cool. Because uh, so if I take this, to, yeah, once you you've go, done all your bullions, you just convert. You would have to eventually commit to that and um, apply it all. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Yeah, uh, but then it comes to like uh, if I show you, uh, let's see. Uh, this one is this is one I've been working for I would say quite a while. It's like all these things that you keep going back to like every month for like one day. Mm. Uh, but it's like um, this is and the opposite. Like where I just like to show us. in my free time just show the us. animation. We're, we're uh, after you're done. Show us inside the car. Oh, you are going to show it inside yeah. the car. Uh, so for me, like also it comes to oh, personal wow. work. I like cool. to use animation and just see how something opens up and how yeah. you can get the most out of, uh, this maybe looks stupid, but like just how to come up with like a hinge that mm. kind of swings in all the directions that I want to. Yeah. These kind of things are for me like, unique. I never get to do these things at machine games because I'm like, it's sci-fi, it's kind of, I wouldn't say fantasy, but it's like mm. wacko jacko, you know? Yeah. So it's not like, <laughs> we're not gonna have uh, all cause of us spending like 50 minutes finding mm. out a hinge works so or how something opens up. So in my personal time, I like to just kind of do these kind of things and see like, oh, how would this open up? Uh, how would this door kind of collide into there? Uh, how did this open up afterwards? Mm. These kind of things. Yeah. Um, and it's it's the same with the outside. It's it's still very proxy, but it's like uh, just finding different ways of how something can animate or function. Mm. Um, no, that's that's hardcore, man. That's, uh, uh, that's or seeing how maybe like landing. It, it's it's all very fake, like it stuff yeah. and sex, but just making sure like from a distance, it's gonna look cool. Um, yeah. So yeah. No, you've, um, that's uh, a lot of work for that thing. That's uh, what, what, yeah, it's and then like, it's kind of uh, like is it meant to fly and come flying? Yeah, yeah. Some, some like some sort of a sci fi flying car. I don't know, okay. I'm not sure about it yet. But yeah. like, again, like doing these things, it's like at the end, if even if I'm not going to use it, this is like I would say, like kid bash heaven if it comes for like little buttons mm, and little yeah. modules. And I, I'm not gonna lie, sometimes when I'm like Get started at work. I would just open some files from home and be like, "Okay, I can I can use this ball." Like, <laughs> yeah, change. yeah. Uh, the only problem is it only goes one way. I, if I would use anything from machine into my personal work, I don't think it would take long. Yeah. Or someone's like, "Hey, uh, Cinemax property." Yeah, but uh, <laughs> yeah. But uh, like, like it's like at the same time, like nobody's gonna notice if I take a plug and I take mm. it home or I take this and I send it back to the office or something. Yeah, um, yeah. No, they wouldn't. It's, yeah, I wouldn't so, worry. So like, but then again, like shapes like this is like. I feel like this is just it's time to explore shapes as well mm. and just finding cool shapes uh and then just afterwards just defining them and making them look detailed mm. but uh again it's all clean topology and uh, i try to something i always try to tell my students as well is don't rely on turbo smooth too much make sure when you make a shape you just define it yourself like mm. all the curves should yeah. be there by themselves like i want to see the high poly shape even without the subdivision already i want to mm. see 
what I'm gonna get. I, I mm. hate when people just make like uh, like a ninety degree and then it the turbo swap and it becomes yarn. I'm like, well, why didn't you just make a chamfer and just be done with it? Like, yeah, don't be lazy. Just make sure that the high poly it presents the low poly you're getting. Just yeah, it's closely, closely. Uh, it's half, more yeah. than halfway there usually. Exactly, because because so, uh, yeah. uh, for example, um, I can open like a file from some students now. Um, if I would. Um, Are you doing uh, work workshops? Uh, more like when I work with the school, uh, and I kind of gave them like uh, how you say like a class on uh, high poly modeling. Yeah. And I promised them that they could send stuff all the time, so uh, I just keep checking their work a little bit, That's time by, day yeah. by day. Yeah. Um, I don't have it now, but like, yeah, it's like I don't like when people are in terms of too much. I'm like, just try to make the shape yourself and mm. just face the problems you have and just add pathologies and clean topology to make it look nice. Um, well, well, yeah, yeah. No, it's good that you're teaching it because I think subdivision modeling is a bit of a. It's almost. It's. I would say it's almost a lost art form. I don't think. Um, I mean, I'm trying to think of people who still use it. Um, like I, I believe, just usually the guys that have used it in the past are still using it, and maybe yeah. there's only like a handful of people. Not a handful of people. Maybe you know, like I don't know. You can, the thing is, you can think about how many people are using it. You know, you, I think um, it's just a shame to see it kind of like go so far back where it, it's yeah. it, it, it like I, I see people making helmets and I see them making them in Moy. And I'm like, <laughs> you can't do that. It won't work. Like, <laughs> you're not going to get like, the organic, I'm, partly organic yeah, face because the human head is organic. So yeah. you're, you're trying to mix the elements and you need to pick a, a medium that is that. So um, even if uh, like even if they needed to make a helmet, they probably would make it with subdivision modeling and then convert it to um, then then cut cut the with CAD, you know, use it with CAD because that's what they do. So yeah. um, they do use for engineering and stuff like that, they do use subdivision modeling. In limited but if capacity. it comes to your but, so. but if it comes to your work, I feel like you you use ZBrush to explore the shapes and explore mm. the design. But does that mean afterwards to go back into Max or and then just to make it from scratch? Oh well, yeah, you... yeah. That's what that's my idea of uh, doing it. I'll finish the concept to about eighty percent, and then I'll yeah. go in and add detail because you can't. I can't. Yeah, you know, I can finish the 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 design a lot more, but um, there's not much need for it because you know using this type of modeling. You can just do the extra little bits of detail very easily. So, you, but the thing yeah. is, when you've got the shape exploration and you've designed the language, and you you don't have to think too much when you start working with this, it's actually even easier to do the poly modeling. Um, yeah, using edge creasing, I'd say using <laughs> edge creasing. But um, edge creasing that would make it easier. But I think it would be harder without edge creasing because you have to add a lot more geometry. Um, yeah. Cause you have it already, you've got an already predetermined shape and that kind of fucks with your head too much. Yeah. <laughs> and you're like, well, how the fuck do I re apologize this? But if you use edge yeah. creasing, it's like taking the maths out of it and you're like, oh, okay, now I can just like work it. And div um, I, I think I posted recently on my Facebook and that's using edge creasing. Um, okay. And so it takes like the, the complication out of it, but there has to be another process. It has to be a method. There's still a methodology of working and understanding like yeah. all things with subdivision modeling. It's a very, um, it's a weird like step-based thing. So um, it's, there's a lot of methods behind it, just like with, with everything else that like, say yeah. even with CAD, there's lots of methods. You have to start working this way and then working that way and um, similar things like that. But yeah, like some of this stuff, I, I haven't seen anyone really attempt it except you and a handful of people. Cause you're really, I know for, you're using it a lot I, I, for everything. You're not using it for nothing. Yeah. Like you haven't even got one poly non subdivision, non subdivided. No, 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 Like if I look at the whole thing, like I yeah. remember um, that, like I can open another one and my, I remember my producer just lost his shit. Like he was like, how are we going to make this with this method in three days? I'm like, just, just give me time. And I feel like after I just get quicker. Like if I would open the, uh, let's see, uh, this one was made in three days, just using subdivision. Mm. And I remember I, if I look back at it now, I think it was mental myself. I don't know how I did it, but like at some so you point, did this it's just like in two days, whatever you like. Yeah, it felt like uh, it feels like 
you just become a monkey and you just start like okay it's very easy just this 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 yeah uh, and it's like it was the inside of a ufo and it's like okay. all these things look I'm gonna zoom in a bit uh, it's a bit um it's very <laughs> i'm not sure what yeah. i'm looking at the moment right, uh so it's, uh, I, I sh so it's like uh i can quickly show you on uh this one uh it's um uh, no it's pretty it's boxes. pretty um uh, this one that was like a, a maybe like a four second cinematic shot that we would see. Yeah. So he was like, "Don't put too much time in it." But I was like, "Well, at the end, it's just details, and it's like mm. all these things are just little small details that." You just and there, and there is a lot of uh, repetition in detail, which always yeah, helps exactly, to, uh, exactly. Save a lot of time. Um, and then of course, like it looks noisy as hell. I get that, but at the same time, it's like it's your fault. It it should just look as with the art style we have. Mm. It should look cool, and nothing mm. has to. Everything is modulized and it's all easy to kind of make. Uh, at the end, it's just lines and. So you've made that. Little... You made that flat and then curl, curved it yeah. around. Yeah. Yeah. Exactly, and it's like, at the end, like if I, if I look at this, uh, it looks oh shit, this looks fade. I'm just gonna turn off the. Uh, there we go. Uh, it looks fade detailed, but it's like it's it's just lines and just things holding it up, and it's like from a distance it looks beautiful, but mm. it's it's just it's a lot just of random shit. Basic, basically. Yeah, really basic. That's what I mean, like um, with um with the i think there's I, I don't know what the psychology behind it is it's like um when you see a lot of detail you think it's really more impressive than it is yeah yeah there's, there's and a, people believe i tend to yeah. believe it i think it works because it's like oh i don't yeah. understand this well mm. i see a lot of details so like i assume it's gonna work mm. and i kind of feel like like you say like sometimes you don't want to go too far but i feel like it needs this little extra push or nudge mm. just to make it stand out from other work i would it's, say it's so it's 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 exploitive detailing. That's, that's what I'm. Yeah, I, I've, I've, yeah I, try exactly. and, I try and think of like um, uh, analogies and, uh, for describing things with work because I think with with art with art we're, we're essentially the uh, we're, like we're a really good bullshitter. That's what I, I think. Yeah, um, we're, <laughs> we're, we're exactly. Yeah, we're, we're really good bullshitters, and we're trying to be better than I'm <laughs> better bullshit than the next guy. <laughs> it's like, yeah, like, it's how, like, how it's like you, when people. You know? <laughs> Yeah, it's like how how did you say like, I don't know, I just took some images and just yeah. bashed them together and yeah. it looks cool. And it's like but how does it's like I don't know, I, I didn't want to have the shape, but it looks cool and I, mm. I stick with it. It's like it's, it's, I feel like it's, it's like you say, it's, yeah. it's it's a lot of it is luck and just thinking is that oh this 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 doesn't work, I'm gonna keep yeah, this piece of something else. Mistakes. And um, yeah. Yeah, exactly. Mm. And it's like I'm not I don't like the shape, I'm gonna keep it mm. and I'll maybe use it on a different design. Yeah. And that's how like if it comes to like even like I'm making a character now and I'm like and I make a pouch. I don't want to go for your standard military pouch where everything looks a bit boring and it's just like pouches all everywhere. I'm mm. like, okay, I want to make sure they open and you kind of see what's inside of them and yeah. maybe work with some plastic and something just to make it less. Because I feel like a lot of things these days are everyone likes the military designs and everything has to look sneak and like mm. everybody knows what they're looking at. But I feel sometimes like, why don't you just try to do something add, add some material different type of materials yeah, yeah different materials more laying different layers of stuff yeah that's, things that's behind each that's other the art and of I, layering that's that's something i talk yeah. about in and my I, tutorials you, you layer things yeah, and, I, and it will work it will make, make it, it more realistic yeah yeah, yeah. it adds cause they add believability it mm. adds so much more than just having one patch that would have been like this mm. uh just if i take all of this uh this and i'd be like oh oops patch and say like, well yeah but why don't you just make this plastic so you can see through it and you can see what's inside of it and yeah make it helps a little cut and it's like yeah. it, it, you can see how yeah. boring it looks there without nothing to see through exactly it. Yeah. yeah um and does it make all does it make sense like why would they have this maybe not mm. i sure it doesn't make any sense because like at the end it's you're selling art like you're selling an idea it should mm. it should be appealing to the eye and it think if i zoom out I'm like okay which one do i want to look at close this one or that mm. one it's like oh this one looks way more cool um, I, I think there'll probably yeah. be like an industry for like um, we could probably make it in a way where you could you could probably make see how you you I'm just giving you an idea you never know you might yeah. actually do this but um, since you love <laughs> actually making these parts that you know how people get obsessed with like collecting you ever seen those like little mini lunchbox little um, like mini yeah. lunches and stuff like you could yeah. make like a little mini prints and people collect them <laughs> stuff like that that would actually be yeah. really cool yeah because <laughs> yeah. I, I think i think each i think every artist needs to learn how to sell themselves and i think we are terrible yeah. at selling ourselves and um 
you need to be able to go, I'm going to make something for myself here and make a brand and things like that. And that could be, because if you love yeah. doing that stuff, I mean, you've got so many like parts. You could, you could totally like make a theme around them and be like, this is a, you know, um, yeah, like military theme. But then again, like, yeah. Then I feel like I'd say that's like also sometimes understanding of, of how something opens up and then just seeing like, okay, mm. I feel like, things look should look cool but i always i always like to think about motion as well like just seeing how something's going to open up or like mm. and i think sometimes just looking into animation kind of is going to give you ideas about design as well like how oh, would yeah. this open like if i mm. would uh i uh let me let me open this backpack again i was showing you before um uh, let's see um, wait maybe blue there we go um oops that's not open let's save over that thing now Oh, okay. Let's see. But, it, but it sounds but like so, to me you've got yeah. like a lot of energy to like do this stuff. Like yeah, your concentration well, is really good. You know what I'm saying? I I would say I have a hard time getting myself to do personal work. But once I I open Max and I just throw a cube, I can I can work on that cube for hours. Yeah. I have no problem. Like you, you, uh, I just it, not it convincing means, myself to start. Yeah, I think. Well, other people see like. I think other people get discouraged with the amount of work that is coming up, so they never start. Yeah. I mean, sounds like you're like, well, you you start to get more like, well, oh, I'm going to keep doing it and doing it. The more you ramp up, which is which yeah, is something exactly. you really need to do when you need to work. Any in general is that uh, snowball momentum effect. So it's it's really, um, yeah, it's a, it's a difficult thing for some people. Then again, like when I make some, I always have to think like you said about laying, just making sure like, okay, if this is a jetpack, uh, just look at this way. Uh, did, you, did you make that flat and then kind of curve it around, or did you make? Yes, it? Uh, I made it flat and I just used a spline and then just used the path deform just to make it a, make it follow. And then I went in afterwards to kind of make sure the circles were a bit more rounder. Oh, but so uh, everything I make you is use always a spline to round round. Yeah, that I, I always I always use splines because I like then have the Z curve, like over here, example, and then just still tweak it afterwards and just be oh, like, okay. yeah, oh, I don't like it that much. It's like doing a tube uh, I don't like type of thing. Yeah, yeah. And sometimes I would say, like, uh, I would just, uh, even if it, if I know it's a full circle, uh, let's say a uh, tube, uh, I would still make a, a spline out of it. Because mm. I, I never know afterwards if I can, if I want to change something out of it. Uh, if I want to afterwards tweak it a little bit, I can still tweak it with a part of the form, which kind of makes it easy for me. Mm. Um, so, but again, like, if I make something, I always try to make sure that it has, oh, it's not that one. Uh, it has layers, and I can take things off, and it looks a bit interesting. And I wouldn't say this all makes sense, but I think it looks it looks cool. Yeah. Um, it's far from done this character. Uh, it's something like I want to have done by November. Mm. But um, that's why we were talking about like some projects. People tend to like, oh, this is gonna take a month or mm. like two months or something. Yeah. I say like, yeah, but it could be nice to just have something big and something you can be proud of. Something. Well, I I, I say uh, every artist needs to make masterworks. Because that's what art, yeah. art, artists used to do back in the day. They used to make masks. It's something artwork. that makes people so, remember that person. It's like, yeah. oh, it's that person who did that thing or that thing. No like, I remember when remember we went your to school. Concepts. <laughs> no, it's like when I remember we went to school and we were looking at your stuff. And like, oh shit, look at those suits, look at those helmets. Mm. And they were like, I want to do that one day. And it's it's those kind of people like you. Like for me, it's not a joke. I was mm. like when you said, oh, when you you were asking for, uh, or you, when you did spot, like, I'm like oh shit, you saw my work. <laughs> it's kind of like for me, it's like kind of look up to these people yeah and like i want to become that good but mm. then you also have to realize that these people got to that level by practicing a lot and by mm. doing a lot of work at home and just telling their mm. own stuff yeah like it's like you have your your own specific style it's like oh that's mike nash it's yeah. very easy to spot and it's like it takes time to kind of get to that level i feel like it's a um, it's a way everyone thinks like the way you think is different um the way you approach something is going to be different to the way i approach something exactly and it's just your abilities as well it's almost like um it's actually your weaknesses and your strengths all shown in one like my weaknesses are i can't do some things that you can do but i'll show my strengths instead but you'll think that's cooler than maybe perhaps what yeah. you're doing but the thing is like where my strengths are that's your like your weakness and it's like you don't think like that but it's like i don't think exactly like no, no. Yeah. i don't know how to do the other things in zbrush and i'm like shit if i can't do the zbrush thing like you do then mm. i have to start learning to do stuff in max and yeah. that's how i kind of become and it's like we you i could probably learn zbrush like in the way you use it and i, I oh you could it's just like yeah it's just like like you say like people see they are getting jealous of things but it's like you don't get jealous just try to just work around it or just mm. try to beat it yourself mm. 
Um, yeah. But again, like if it comes to designs like this, I always think in layers and just making it as you build yeah, it up. Just, it, it builds up yeah, the complexity, and, and you yeah. um, you start to like you even just start surprising yourself with how cool it looks. I, I often exactly remember that stuff. So uh, and like I remember, like I was making this, uh, and then it became this. Sh- I'm just gonna take this all off. It's a bit noisy. Uh, and then they came this shape and like, oh, this is actually pretty cool. And like, mm. I can make different tiers. Like, this is maybe card level one, and then level two would have a helmet on it, and level mm. three would have like little little catches on it. It's like mm. it, it just becomes more fun. It's like uh, for me, it's fun to just explore these kind of shapes as well. And it's like it would be interesting. It's all brilliant. Um, it would be interesting if like if I sent you one of my like a little section of one of my designs. If you what you what you would do with it. Just yeah, you, I would love to. I would definitely love doing that. I'll, sure. I'll, uh, um, I'll, I'll look for a piece somewhere and I'll, I'll cool, see awesome. if, you, if you want to do it. Because they're usually done yeah. to about 80, 80 to 75%. So there's a, a little bit of um, that thing. Yeah. of Because I think you've got a pretty good uh, detail. I've, I have been um, wanting to do collaborative work with uh, yeah. someone else. I would love to. Yeah. I would definitely love yeah. that. That would be um, cool. I'll look, like, I'll look for something. I'll write it down. But like, like this is like, like I showed you this piece. Like I, I made this kidbash piece, and I was like, that was like, oh, I don't know what to put in here, so I used this little piece, um, and that became this little thing. And it's like, does it make sense that this goes into the backpack or comes out of it? Mm. Maybe not, but it looks cool, and it makes it less mm. of a square box. Yeah. Um, yeah, you're like, rounding it. And yeah. Yeah, and like, like you see, like things are laying all around. Like it's like one gigantic. I would say like graveyard, I, I, but like that's what I do as all well. over the place. I do. And it's I do like the same when I, thing. yeah, and it's mm. like when I uh, look at stuff like uh, let's see, maybe it's not in here. But it's I remember when my producer would come over on my Arctic day and he was like, "Holy shit, Matthias, how am I supposed to understand this?" I'm like, "Just trust me, it's gonna work." And it's like, and at the end, like, it's only the end result that counts. Nobody cares if you if you use the proxy model or if you use the get that model as mm. a proxy or whatever. Like, I remember when I made tanks in my personal work, I would just get part all the tanks from World of Tanks because those tanks are one to one accurate, and I would use that as a proxy. Mm. Like, well, now I'm going to make a sci fi Sherman tank, but I use that, I get that model as like a shape defined, like a shape or something, you know? Mm. Um, And so these kind of things are like, for me, like anything that makes makes art easier for you. Is a win. That's what I like. Yeah. As long as you make it yourself, if you use reference pictures, if you use git bashing, whatever. As long as it's, as long as the end result is there, I, yeah. Yeah, um, I think you you respect each and every step of doing it. You don't like abuse it because you can abuse kit bashing. You can abuse references. You can abuse all yeah. these things. Like you could reference like copy copy, and you're like, well, you know, there's no interpretation there. And I think yeah. there's there's a thing where people like to go too far with one or, or another and i think that's what a good artist does is um the balancing of all the all these things yeah. and using them and they're not it's like i remember at one point where there was that weird thing in games where it's like oh it's bad to take a picture and use it as a texture you know there was that um, yeah people making jokes out of it like doors yeah. like oh look this is not from your textures like well it's a it's a door like let it go it's not maybe yeah. You don't know how, how there was production a res- was. Maybe they had no time or something. Well, it's like, come on, let it go. You look at Doom, right? D- the first Doom was yeah. all like fucking photos and like stolen shit. Like in a way, in in a weird way, like the gun was a, a, a toy that they took a picture of. <laughs> um, the only thing was art was like the monsters were created by clay. And so like it's weird. It's something that is normal because I think it's it's way too difficult to reproduce a tech show. But like, yeah, you know, for like Final Fantasy, the spirits within, they hand painted the skin textures, like the pores and every pore on their fucking face. They hand painted those. Jesus. Yeah, that's what I mean. Because I think at one point, you know, when they, they did like the Star Wars and they did the backdrops and stuff like that, and they hand painted the backdrops. I think people yeah. were coming out of that era where um, we can't like they didn't have well I could probably say they didn't have the ability to take a photo and put it into the computer so then you yeah. just have to like do it by hand and we kind of like took that um, literally in, into the 3D world and it's like hey let's take a picture and just just use it right and yeah I think like I got this example for you like this is exactly what I think what you mean is like uh, we I've been working on this little thing it's like a jacket and I was like, I don't, back in the days, I didn't have scanning. So I was like, well, now we can scan things. So I use a scanning to make okay. it. And then That's I just cool. afterwards, uh, afterwards, we just went in into, um, 
just to represent it better, we went mm. into C. Uh, what is it? H2, is that it? Yeah, it's like we just kind of slice it off, and this jacket, the scan, became this one. It's like, oh, instead of six buttons, let's go for four, let's slice it off, let's make yeah. it shorter. And that just became like an easy way of representing it. Like, oh, mm. we don't want this, we just want to show it underneath it. And yeah. it's like anything these days that makes it easy to translate your design or make mm. something come to life, just use it. Yeah, and it's yeah. already, you know, it's already there in real life. You might as well. I, I've been doing that yeah. with concepts to take um, scans and then concept on top of them. It's great. It's, yeah. It's, it's, look, as long as you're um, respecting where you take things and. Of course. It's not yeah, like exactly. That, you know, pure, just like. I mean, you get you get those uh, things where, um, you, as I was saying, people just dis disrespect the, the the source material at some extent, or the, the, the techniques around yeah. it, and it's it can cheaper make things cheap. That's what I'm trying to get towards. It's like that. It cheaper cheapens the art. You don't kind of you don't yeah. want to be doing that. So, you um you did some helmets, right? Well, I did a lot of helmets, but all of them were based on your like they were they're coming from some sort of like. Origin, but yeah, I did a lot of helmets. Yeah, um, do you have any yeah. helmets to show? I'm always interested in yes. helmets because helmets, um, um, helmets are round it's, and they're usually more complicated in the, in the yeah. way you have to construct them. So it's for always me, interesting like my, to see the, the tech. They're like a helmets. guilty pleasure for me to just make them. Um, yeah, I'm not that happy with the designs, but I kind of love making them. Let's see, uh, I always need to get where they are. Um, let's see if I remember next one, they should be, yeah. So this is one I'm working on. I showed you before, mm. uh, and I should have this person. Another one as well. I think there's an, there's like an art form in um, in helmets. There are like a uh, like you know how people collect like space helmets and all different military <laughs> helmet, helmets and stuff like that. I think that there's there's something around it because it protects the human skull. There's like a a great yeah, importance on it. And it's, it's, they all visualize the same thing, but saying mm. that there's so much freedom you can do with them. It's like mm. it's so much you can, uh, yeah. But like if it comes to uh, the same way of modeling, it's all between topology and then things that were. Turn the, turn the turbo smooth off. I just want to see what it all looks like without it. Oh, you just without subdivision. Yeah. Uh, no, no, uh, yeah, without the turbo smooth. I just want to have a look. I'm always, um, yeah, I just always like to see, you know, the basics of uh, people's construction yeah. and stuff like that. Yeah. And like I said, that's what I said, like people sometimes would just go like chunk, chunk like a corner, but I'm like, why don't you just make that circle and then mm. this when you turn it on, it's gonna look nice. Yeah. Um, and this is something my friend Sanchez was saying, like this before was completely white. And it was something like this. And he was like, No, no, just you know what? Uh just add some rubber at the bottom just to make it a little stand out a bit more and mm. kind of feel like it wouldn't hurt the finger or something. And that was the yeah. only feedback I had, but it's like uh but like yeah. uh, how would you feel one. wearing it um you know what what would exactly you know, what would happen if yeah. you put it on your head would uh, it feel comfortable yeah. and would it uh let's see i had some other ones as well uh the real the real practical like that's how you make a good design is by kind of well very much by looking inside your head and kind of visualizing it and going okay what well, well, you know if i put a helmet on what what would i have to contend with yeah um, what materials will there be on there um, and so then they then slowly once you start laying down those things, it just falls into the design, and then it starts to uh, determine the design in that way, and yeah. it makes it easier. Because and sometimes I, sometimes you just use this easy shape to represent it, like mm. a sphere. And but okay, this is going to follow the shape, but that's yeah. it. And it's like say you just start adding layers, and it's like okay, uh, and and adding holes. And it, yeah. yeah, and it's just like the more you you really start to um, like uh, vi visualize it, and the more uh, well makes make it sense, make it make make logic out of your idea, yeah. which is usually a crazy idea in, in a weird way sometimes. And so you're trying to <laughs> like uh, you know, then you then the, the real life elements come into place, and then you start yeah. believing in it and. Um, and yeah. it's like sometimes they all come from stage places. Like I was looking at this Arabic or like uh, Eastern way of where they have like headbands on their head, and that became like this. I like, had to cut away here because mm. uh, it was, it was there were some issues. But like this just became the base, and then I was like, okay, now I'm going to start adding layers. Yeah. And then basically it just became one layer after the other. And like uh, you said before, it's just you make a first shape. Like I maybe should have had some more edges over here just to make it more round. So I was that? What are you talking I, about? 
edges? Uh, the back. Yeah, like so. I, I'm relying a lot on focus move here to make it curvy. Oh, you mean the topology? Back. Yeah, it's yeah. like topology. Like, uh, yeah, it's a little bit then I made of a, a willow in it. Yeah, yeah. Little, exactly. Yeah. So that that's the bad thing. Uh, like this is better in it, but this is this mm. is bad. But then, like, you just start cutting stuff away, so you kind of see the layers beneath it. Mm. That's when you kind of see the scap underneath it. Yeah. And just like, okay, maybe I add another plate, uh, and if I would open uh, this one, uh, this, this one always works out. So let's see. Um, okay, remove everything. Back to the set. There we go. Um, let's see if I take this helmet. It's gonna be all this. See this. Is... Um, this was the first one I did, and it's like, um, yeah. See, it always works out. What was that? It always, it always works out. Like it, it. Mm. So I cannot use this file anymore. It's oh, so it annoying. Bugged. Um, it, maybe it's yeah. Maybe it's even if root. I export it and I, I, I remember, ah. I remember that in Max. Um, is it when you group something and you have something? I groups? think so. Uh, I think if you quickly ungroup yeah. it, and then it might okay, work. Okay, let's see. Yeah, I'm gonna say this now. Okay, let's see. I don't know. I've used nope. I used Max in the past years ago, and it seems like a similar mistake, uh, similar bugs that are still in it. Yeah. Okay. Oh yeah, yeah. It's like I I'm the person that kind of likes to use Max 2014 at home because oh, I'm like yeah, that's what I was using. When I was the worst. <laughs> the more you go up, the the more issues you have. And it's like holy shit. Instead of fixing your problems, you just I, add I more problems. I think maybe the, like the 20 um, three three. I, I I feel that 2020 they might have fixed their shit and got it together. Maybe you can um. Okay. Great. It. It's just like it's like I don't see any things added that is gonna make my life better. No. And it's no. just keep breaking things, and I'm like, okay, let's see. Maybe this one's gonna work now. Okay. Yeah. Uh, so yeah, this is. Uh, I'm just gonna turn it all on black. This was the first one I made, and it's like uh, all these shapes. Oh fucking hell! Did it crash? Yeah. Is it because yeah, you've I'm got so many? Uh, is it because it's like? Uh, too dense or just something oh, I mean, a bug within the file it's something in that file i know it it's how did you, know, you, how'd you even work on it in the first place did it um i know it's just like i think that it's just a scale thing that i scaled it down or something and then something went wrong uh let's see x form x form let's see if this fixes it yeah i think i remember Maybe. that doing it right x form some X form is like the magical thing. That fixes what the hell the is X form anyway? <laughs> like I used to use. It I all think time. it gets set. Uh, it gets set everything. I think and no. it it yeah. Okay, so like shapes like this. Um, yeah, it's all made by hand. It's like you just add uh, layers. Mm. You know, I remember making it. And it's like I just use a sphere just to represent it, and I just build mm. around that shape. Yeah. Because um, this was the first time I made a helmet, and I I was always scared of helmets because you say like you say there's some sort of art to it, like. It's a human head that has to perfectly fit around it, and then you have mm. to make sure it looks nice and clean. Yeah. Uh, that that became it, and then I just built that shape around the sphere, and that became the base. Mm. Um, and it's strange because I kind of worked with this one uh, from the outside inwards. So I first made the top piece, and I worked my way in. Okay. Um, yeah. And then at the end, I kind of felt like that's how I was like, okay, this is now what I'm gonna add mm. just to make it feel. Yeah. Like most people would probably start with this and then just put stuff on top of it. Yeah. But that was a bit of the opposite. I was like, I'm first gonna make something that looks cool. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. Or like this piece. Yeah. Um, no, it's, and then it has some stupid animation as well. Oh no, it doesn't not anymore. But these things could like uh, rotate and this will extend. Okay. Just to give it like some sort of like aspects and obelix, like the little wings the little guy had. Like yeah, uh, we just have that as well. Um, and then just again like adding some glass just to add some. I don't know some layers to it and mm. some fabric, just some. That was of course seabush then with like uh, off, of course. But uh, otherwise, everything is. Uh, no, I, I like your use of um, transparencies and like transparency materials and things like that. It's um, yeah, it's it like, adds to it. It's it's an interesting thing to do. I've I don't think I've ever really ever thought about doing that before. That's pretty cool. It's like idea. you just you just add to like some glass and then maybe some like I did like some plastic on top of it, like yeah. some things. Yeah. Uh, and I remember if I would if I open my um, let's see, that's kind of, it's like just gigantic effort folder of just random shit I have, and it's it's from anything in the world that I like that I think looks cool, and mm. it's like maybe I'm not going to use it, but it's like and sometimes it's like really small stuff like. And I remember I sent this to some friends, and they were like, "You know, dude, everything in here does not make any sense. Like, why do you have this?" I'm like, "I don't know, but I like the shape, and maybe if I, yeah, if I have no inspiration on it, I can just look you can at take this it, and I'm yeah. gonna see, yeah. I, I, I'm gonna see something in this, and mm. it's gonna, 
Uh, like I, I just looked at this. Oh, I like this. This new, this new, yeah, marking thing. Or like, just sh like it says, your stuff is in there as well. It's, yeah. it's, it's just like a gigantic thing. It's like to, to make sure you think out of the box. And be like, okay, mm. this is normally not stuff I would come up with. So let's have a look at it. But then mm. also kind of expecting and not like gipping it off, but like seeing what why is this so interesting to you? like this is the piece I showed you before. Mm. You know, the A piece. It's it's there. It's just just kind of interpret it differently. It's it's basically when you import something in. You know, say like you're looking at a reference, you're importing an inspiration to generate ideas yeah. on the other side, and um, yeah, you do get you you do bank those, but you still need them. I think to remain like, yeah. fresh and things like that, you still need that type of thing. I always have the goal like not completely getting something off. I'm like, okay, I need to, if I see something cool, I'm gonna try to combine three pictures like mm. these three and make something cool out of it. And yeah. for example, it's funny, I'm going to use these three now just to show you what happened. It's funny that these things are actually next to each other. Uh, so this is... Um, I think who, who, this is that Ryan Reed, he, he, did he make my arm? What was that one there? Yeah, on the I, kinda, I don't want to want to point out, but it, yeah. What, what, I, I, <laughs> it, looks, it looks very similar. <laughs> but I don't, I, 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 don't, I don't understand why people would do that because I never even finished it. <laughs> like, I never finished it. To me, it's... I like. I don't want to share on it. It looks really cool, but like it's like the moment when stuff like this. Like I mm. remember that from your design. It's like okay, I kind of recognize this. Mm. It's like it's cool to see inspiration. And it is cool. See what's yeah. it is really cool, but it's like. I mean, it, it feels like he, he did. He did a yeah. better job with some things than I. I like. That's what I mean. Like some artists do a better job with some things than they don't do. Like it's like a it's like a weird mix of the two. Yeah. Yeah. But sometimes I feel like something like if this because this is something that I remember from yours. I'm like, if this is mm. really cool, but why didn't you try something differently than this just to make it, it to make like, it make I mean, it go on? I think people get so inspired that maybe they're just like, oh, I need to do that. I think you could you could, you could yeah. just don't. Yeah, that's what I mean. Yeah, make your own. So like, that's uh, what I always, but like, say, this is I always exactly. say to artists, don't copy, don't copy me. No, just be inspired. <laughs> like, don't copy. It's like it's, it's I'm like not saying it, I'm not saying like like you, oh you can't you can't. But I'm just saying for your own good. <laughs> like, don't copy me. You're not gonna learn not, anything from it. Yeah, you're, you're not gonna not, yeah. learn anything from it. Yeah, and you you can make mistakes. Like not everything you do or like I do is is on purpose. Mm. Like for example, like if I show you this one, it's funny. Like this was based on a, a vacuum cleaner stuff. So the thing underneath this actually more oh, this, yeah. and then I just use Marvel Designer. Yeah. Uh, so this thing, if I take this away, this is this was underneath that. Mm. The shape was here, and then this thing was added on top of it, mm. and became like I don't know some sort of a cleaning thing yeah it works and then well. and it's like okay maybe something at the back and then mm. it's like oh but it's a space helmet so mm. it's kind of to be wrapped up in aluminium or something yeah and that became whatever this is it's like a breathing instrument or something but everything is yeah. coming from some reference basically um no, that's that's um that's really yeah. cool i like that um the way you the way you're combining certain certain elements it's actually made me kind of like look at look at uh, maybe how i work and stuff like that and like if I look at this example, uh, this one is somewhere. Whoops. Uh, this one should be this one. Yeah. Yeah. So there's so many it, little interesting engineered parts that when you yeah you, you Google at, random this names stupid for things. things. Yeah, like yeah. I just sometimes search for engine, and I'm like, and I was like, wait, yeah. this is this. It's like I don't know. Yeah. It's like it doesn't mean I cannot come up with my own things, but I'm like this thing was a light bulb and like well this could be well, a little you know better. you know those engineers man they're like the best um yeah models in the world they're better than whatever fucking we're doing so <laughs> they, they're <laughs> extremely um extremely good because i don't know like you see some of these shapes i don't even think some people can make these shapes with cad because it requires um certain background engineering and ways of thinking yeah. that um that you know unless you've done that type of work you're not going to make it and it's just like your yeah. exposure to certain things. You never will make something like that. That's why you, you know, the way you make um, a helmet, it's because you've never made like a like. You know when you learned a behavior, and it's like, yeah, um, your behavior is like, say, if your your behavior, you being you, it was an engineer, you would make the helmet completely different. You know, yeah. you you actually not knowing about anything, you make it. <laughs> that is a really good point, actually, because yeah. I remember like. It's a really good point because I feel sometimes like every time I tell something for the first time, people seem to like it the most. Cause I, and I'm probably because it's like, like you said, you don't know what you're doing or mm. you don't understand it. So it looks unique because I feel like if it comes to my first work, 
I really loved this one, and that was the first gun I ever did. And looking back at it, nothing makes sense. Like, I didn't know, know anything about guns. But people seem yeah. to like it, and I think it's good. It's that's, so different. That's, no, that's like, because, look, I didn't know anything about guns, and I was like, I'll, I'll do a gun. But the thing is, that's what you need. You need innocence. That's the problem. Right? Yes, exactly. Innocence, Not overthinking it and be like, does mm. this make sense? And yeah, exactly. Innocence um, adds to the creativity of you doing something. So if you know, like, it's when you know too much, it's when you um, uh, will overthink the design. Kind of that magical touch, yeah. Yeah, that's why, I, that's why I say to people, it's like, um, if you try to make your design too, like, functional, it will just take, like, because that's the thing. Like, if you sat and go, I'm going to make a gun and make it look functional, I mean, it, like, you wouldn't have added those weird things at the front and, like... No, no, no you exactly. You would never copy these things. But someone else would be um, like, those things serve a purpose and they give you the idea they need to do this. And you're like, I never thought about that. And it's like, that's yeah. how you spur on ideas and creativity. And that's the yeah. great thing about making art is that you make these ludicrous things and someone else will come along and be like, hey, that does this. That's this, so yeah. move this. So, yeah, like, exactly. People say uh, that about yeah. my helmet. I'm like... No, I don't know what it does. Like, it's like exactly. I just think it does like, this. It's entertainment, <laughs> and I think it looks it looks cool, and it, it may it might work, but I don't know. Yeah, exactly. I, I have, example, like I, I was have, saying. I have the rule. It's like twenty percent, twenty thirty percent to know what it does. Only twenty thirty percent around there. If you if you go too far, you end up like changing the shape too much, and you make it too crude yeah. and logical, and then you're like, oh, you, you look at it, and you're like, I've just ruined it. Like, so you have to. Yeah. It's you could probably go higher in the percentage, but you know, fifty fifty if you want to be safe with it. And so hey, like that's probably why your gun was like it's like that's cool because maybe yeah. You had no idea what the hell you were doing. <laughs> exactly. It was like I have this was done in three hours and like I have no clue I'm doing, I'm just gonna bash some stuff together. Mm. Like uh except, like I was showing this one, it's like this this picture here that was the inspiration for this. And it was the book I saw in uh, Belgium when I was back in Belgium and I was like, Oh, this is actually pretty cool. And I was like, oh, this could be the, the headband or whatever. Mm, uh, and that's basically her thing. Yeah. And yeah. it's like, everything has, everything has some origin. And that's mm. like, it doesn't mean like, if I see this picture, this is going to be using my helmet. But mm. it's like, this this thing is cool. I could use this as a button or something. And in the evenings or something, when I have no inspiration. I should get you to send me like references. Thousand... It's pretty cool. I, I will. I, I will. Like there's like there's some reference. Uh, there's some random stuff in here, like how helmets open up. Yeah. Or, there's some clothing or like random stuff like concepts or colors or like I like just to guess how it, like how this kind of the shapes yeah. and stuff and it's like it's just random interesting stuff you see like all these so interesting yeah. things everywhere and you're like you can't bank it all like you can't um, remember it all but you just want to keep keep a picture of it and you just exactly and sometimes it takes you forever to get around to like scrolling through the pictures and sometimes you never never go to your references and you're like it's yeah, it's like one of those things you do go to and then you don't go to, but then you like sometimes you do get stuck and yeah, it's um, no, nah, it's just so yeah, nah, um, uh, that's that's yeah. that's it. So I feel like if, if it comes to making things, it's a lot of uh, just tank things out and see how yeah, taking taking your time with it and yeah yeah like, and yeah, I, I definitely might hit you up for a like I'll send you. I think I'll, I'll find something. I'll send you something because I've, I've really been trying to figure out how to do. Because I'm wanting to work with because like working from home and like working as freelancer, it's pretty isolating. And what yeah. I'm trying to think is like trying to trying to, in some capacity to um, form some sort of uh, teamship with other artists. And th I think as as we all just sit at home and we work away all by ourselves, it's that kind of the, the thing is like you know two heads are better than one type of thing yeah. and um I, I think it's always good to have that because i think in this day and age we, we all we all we all feel like we're kind of all just like plodding away kind of trying to do something and when in fact that if you actually worked with other people you'd probably be happy and you get more shit done and yeah probably yeah. have some inspiration seeing different yeah. ways of working as well so yeah um so you, you do yeah. a lot of cars as well yeah, but these are stuff I did for machine games. So it's sometimes back in the days I was the only vehicle artist. So yeah, uh, having to do how, how a do lot you of find vehicles. doing doing cars because I guess they they're kind of generic in a way. Yeah, but this had to be like I think like being the only vehicle artist at that time, I had to kind of be uh, smart about it. So I kind mm. of felt like making one car and making different add-ons for them, so yeah. I could have like different cars. Um, and then if it comes to uh, we had this crazy thing back on the in the days when I go to uh, see. 
Mr. Max. Uh, let's see here. Um, we had 20 cards for the Colossus, uh, the second Wolfstein game, and that was mental for one guy. But we all gave them unique dashboards and unique uh, add-ons. Mm. So when it came to cards, it it, it kind of gave me a good basic basic understanding of the board, just seeing how edge flow works and how things nicely work into each other. Yeah, um, which is it's always it's always tough to model a car like that. Yeah, and that's the thing. Like that's why I'm giving all my students at the moment um, the assignment of if I go to students folder, mm. uh, they all had to make a car based on a concept because I feel like it's one thing to, to make something; it's another thing to take a concept from somebody and translating it into into a real thing. Yeah. So I felt so showing basically people like, oh, this is maybe just make sure things are not too hard and make sure things are. This is my example. Just make sure. There's enough different edge creasing or edge weighting or yeah. material definition in the edges. Like if this is metal, this needs to be sharper. But not too yeah. sharp that you don't cut your finger. Basically these kind of things. Yeah. Um, I'm making sure like, for example, when I looked at, uh, this was one of the biggest problems I saw with this particular example was when people make something. Um, what is it? Uh, this one. Uh, people sometimes tend to forget like if, if a shape like a trunk has cut in, that shape needs to continue into the main shape. Like mm. now it looks like this was made by a different factory than the guy who did the main chassis. Yeah. So it's yeah. like make sure when you make something, uh, everything flows in nicely. If I take these two. And I guess with so that continues nicely. With that boot part, probably would it be easier to break it apart from the? I think I had it. Yeah. One geometry. Exactly, and, yeah. and you just cut it, cut it out. Yeah. So I feel like this is kind of stuff I want to show to students. Like cars are very people see. Oh, it's just a chassis. Yeah, but it takes. It's a bit of understanding and clean topology and wounds and whatever to make it no look one, nice. And look, no sure. one, look, honestly, no one wants to do this stuff these days. They don't. No. They don't. Even when I make it, I'm like, oh, you shit, a car again. But then once you start working on it, you start chipping away on it. Yeah. It's like, yeah. you know what? It's not, it's not that it's, bad, actually. It's, it's like, not as, yeah, not as bad as you think. It's, it's, yeah. you know what it is? It's because, look, when you look at that and you go show the topology, right? And you're like... Uh, look at all that topology it's like it's, it's like yeah but it actually if you use certain Shit. techniques you're not you're not having to tune every vertice in in no the no it's, exactly it's um it it's more overwhelming to look at than it is to do but it's still overwhelming to do because it requires focus and i think because yeah. you're not getting a instant instant feedback where uh a concept or a CAD CAD modeling would give you instant feedback um, in that way where you're um, you're realizing the design a lot quicker. So yeah, I just think honestly, I think I think as the whole population, I think our our attention spans have um, come way down. Like I think we used to have a long um, the way everything is social media and things like that. Our attention spans have gotten shorter and shorter because the way information is constantly like tri trickling in and the way we take, take yeah. things in these days, it's, um, it's just neurochemically changing us. So it's, it's, it's a very, very odd world. That's the thing I like about, that's the thing about, I like about so the modeling is like, it takes, it makes, it makes you slower, but at the same time, it gives you time to think ahead of what you can do next mm. or what you're designing. Yeah. So like, if I would be very fast, I don't think I would have, I cannot think. And I, I don't, I don't need to, I would say, I don't have to think for modeling anymore. I like it's it's just this thing where I'm just a monkey doing it. But I having that ability makes it easy for me to design stuff if, if you, or plan stuff ahead, basically. If you worked from a yeah. concept that was like, you know, a three D concept like one of mine, would you would yeah. would that would you be even faster? You imagine you would be even faster than when you I think it would be way faster yeah. especially if you like for example like if I had my own you have to follow the details or if you have like, oh this is the kind of visual language I see or something mm. it would be very easy because I mean, the the shapes are there. It just make them interesting, make them clean, make them yeah, you know that's all, add yeah. details. And it's like, it's the hardest thing for me, but also the funniest thing for me is at the beginning, of course, coming up with a design idea. But afterwards, like when you have all your pieces, it's like okay, uh, mm. I just need to model it now. Uh, yeah. So, yeah, yeah, yeah. I'm, I'm... It's like this. These garbages, these became like medicine boxes in my designs. Like I didn't change much. Like if I take if I open this up quickly in the meantime. Yeah, I've done I've done that with like masks and things like that, and you feel a little bit guilty, but then I um I try and change it to the point where I don't feel guilty anymore, because I, I yeah I don't try exactly. and, um, try not to copy too much, but just be inspired and try and work on that because um 
you think, oh, maybe someone will see it, and it's like you copied it, and, and so yeah. But that's like, yeah. it's like who, who, the chance that someone's gonna notice it is small. And then again, who mm. cares? It's like if it looks cool. Like yeah. uh, this became the. Uh, oh, I know. Scene. I know what that's from. I knew what it was from before. I was just. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, exactly. So this is that, and then I just what happened is like I didn't want to copy completely, so I was like, yeah. this can be a. Uh, and then I used to it. Let me see where that picture is. It was like some ink stuff. Uh, this this thing. I was like, oh, you know, this could be ex this could be just medicine inside of it or something. Yeah, and I yeah. just added some some buttons. Like this was and, not and, these things and, were in there, and that's yeah. it. These things were added, this, and this, it's like. And the thing is, though, right? That little those little clips on top, you know, those little whatever yeah. those black things, and they will cut and have little they spaces. Little thing, yeah, I'm, I'm pretty sure that's probably like to um, lit lit release it from where where it, exactly. it is. The thing is, you as an artist would never ever think of doing that in any of your work. No. So no. that's where like um, references is, is really great. And the thing is, you can take like I, I could take that now and I could use that on another design now. And I'll be exactly. like, exactly, it's, it's it a hinge. Yeah, yeah, it's a fucking hinge. Like do, we don't mm. have to be explore the design of a hinge. Or it's like it still needs to be understandable. People, mm. you don't want to reinvent the wheel. It's like it's a hinge. This is how it works. Mm. Uh, and I always like like I said like these these this shape. You remember this? I just tried to add some elements like these. The, there's a package inside of it instead and some sticker and maybe and then again like it's not this it's the whole image at the end that counts like this yeah yeah and then again it's like it's it, it works it's yeah uh so. well you've even got the names there you like you put the name yeah the name for them i had like so i just some uh some like some stickers for it and like, you know it feels, feels more believable that way and it's like same mm. like this is it's like the moment you start adding like decals or like a little bit of color in there it's like you know, this starts to feel nice already. Yeah. Of just having just a flat thing and like, okay. So is that, is that actual geometry you put in there? Like those yeah. little things? Uh, all, all that geometry, not textures? Uh, no, there's all geometry. But then again, like if I would open, for example, uh, this one. Um, yeah, you really get into the details there. <laughs> yeah, but I said that I feel like th those things can be used afterwards as well. Like uh, yeah. a lot of things like I like, I'm not going to make this thick again. It's like, mm, yeah, um, I get, I get I'm just going to, like if I open this one, for example, I'm just going to put this way. Uh, this one was very clumsy made, but uh, same with this one. All these things are just stickers that we've placed inside I think, of it. Man, I think yeah. you could definitely do prints and things like that. Have have a um, like some sort of branding <laughs> behind you. Because people would love to so, collect little things like that. And Yeah. Yeah. That's so the thing, like, you got to build your branding first. That's the problem. Exactly. Yeah. And you, I feel like if I want to do that, I want to make sure I have like like 10 of these already get in, mm. or like one, and then people have to wait for like two months or something, you know? Mm. Or make sure I have like a little nice collection. Yeah. Uh, but yeah, um, it's, to me, it's like, it's all like you said, it's about adding that little extra detail, just going the extra way to just add buttons and stickers and just all just these, all these things and, to, to give it yeah. a, a sense of reality and stuff like that. Exactly. Making yeah. sure people. When you like when you see it for the first time you go like wow this looks really cool and like mm. i want to see this opening up again and just using the are sticker those and are those colors. actual are they like on the edge that is that like a zipper like a yeah okay that's what i thought yeah that's interesting so it's like it does again yeah. like it does not like everybody i talk is like this does not make any sense in the jet fight like it's mm. to have to open zip these things up like open or something mm. like yeah but it looks it looks cool and it kind of makes it look like oh you got your first dashboard here but then when they go into space something they open up the second one yeah and they have excess keys or they have you know yeah it it's like i remember when i made the i'm making on this one now uh, let's see maybe blue. uh it would say the same and i completely agree with with this they say they all say this this night vision thing does not make any sense let's see um, Have you ever used um, like Maya and things like that? For no, it's all um, Max uh, high poly modeling, and since I joined Machine Gate, I use Modo for low poly because it's yeah. very it has a lot of scripts and plugins and it's shortcuts. It's very easy to optimize your shape very quickly. Well, uh, does Modo has that mesh fusion thing? Doesn't yeah, but I feel like I don't funny. like it that much. It seems funny, and like, yeah. like I mean, you know, Toxic is using the whole uh, edge shape thing. I would rely on that one even more than Mesh Fusion because at least that mm. one is not destructive. You just shove and shapes, and then it kind of I, I don't takes think it for you. I don't think um, Mesh Fusion well, doesn't seem like it is taken off, has it? Um, no, I mean, I was a thing. I think in 2014, 2013. Yeah. yeah but it became so I don't know. It very 
destructive. I don't like it that much. Like the the way Tofik had the whole thing with the edge here way mm. works way better for me. Uh, we, a lot of people use that in machine games. It just the shot and shapes. You say you, you add a number that says the weighting, and it kind of blends it nicely into each other. Yeah, uh, I don't know if you've seen this way. Have you seen it? Um, the um, but it, it works pretty good. Mm. Um, so, but yeah, like this was the thing they're saying, like, oh, it does not make any sense to have your night vision on, on glass, which is, makes sense, right? Like, yeah. Just reflect. Yeah. Uh, but sometimes I feel like, you know, at the end, it looks cool. Mm. And I, I don't think I'm going to remove it. It's like, okay, maybe they, you can just take out the glass or something and they can eject it out or something. I don't know. Yeah. But I feel like I'm not going to remove it because it looks cool as a, as a, as a full thing. If I would yeah. take this off, I feel like it kind of misses something. Maybe I like, need to come up with something else, but I feel like it needs something there, so... I think I think you would uh, you you would benefit from from concepting in in a way, but it depends if you if you think like that. I don't, I'm not sure if you. It does look. No one's out of not doing something, but you probably would benefit from um like say if you get stuck with this idea. Like so, what yeah. I, what I do is um if if I'm working even on like something like this with subdivision modeling, and I'm going like damn like this is not working. So at this stage, say it's not working, you just chuck it into Mac, um, uh, ZBrush, and convert it all to Dynamesh, and just scrib yeah. scribble on it. Take things out, add things, and things yeah. will start to click. Because the thing is, when you work with a medium that's really tough, because subdivision modeling is tough, you can't just go and break the mesh. No, you can't tweak it afterwards. Yeah, and so it uh, helps to um, to do that. Like I do it all the time. Like I'm, I even. So I would tune the shape a lot more with um, the the just the really flexible modeling t tool sets and kind of break the the subdivision modeling and then um, retune the the mesh to adapt the broken mesh because sometimes when you tune tune it it breaks it and you're gonna fix it a little bit yeah so I'm like because if I know I really want to get a fix and it's like it bugs you that um, it's just not working you can't leave it it's 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 a pretty good thing to just chuck it into um yeah i should have a look at that to ZBrush point, and just, yeah. scri just scribble on it because yeah just explore a bit more yeah. it's something like inside of you you're like something's not working something's not working and you're like but the thing is you're already um at this point where you you can't like scribble. you don't want to give up on it basically yeah, yeah yeah and so you think and sometimes it's just little changes where you don't have to like work uh backwards you know you just have to change something um i think that's the problem with this type of modeling is that um changing things it is tempting to to do it um so say if you wanted to change it, some of the, your geometry there it's tempting to do it but it would take you forever to do it and yeah for yeah sure. and it's like that you got to stop yourself from doing it and just keep as much working forward as possible because because no 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 artist no there's a point where you can be really happy you know how you get really happy with your work and then you're like not so happy, <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> like. And then you're like, you know what? I'll I'll call it done. I'm like, yeah. I just art, but you're like, you're not completely proud of it. Yeah. <laughs> but there, there, there's yeah. there's like that like the hard surface bust for me was that that like I like to approach some projects and then some projects not like that. Um, like the hard surface bust and like the police vest were like points where yeah. like, I'm really happy with it. And if I look back yeah. in it in ten years, I'm not going to pull it apart too much. And so I like to practice like some like some loony projects in mixed in with just like really quick ones. Yeah. And it's always an interesting thing to, to do because you think, well, you have diminishing returns up until a point, but then with art, is it really diminishing if you're trying to do like a masterpiece? And not so much. You can actually just keep tuning the hell out of it to a point that things become so fucking polished. That people look at me like fucking hell, how did you do that? And it's just like I just went further than anyone else, right? It's like yeah, exactly. You went further than anyone else. I feel like yeah. I think that I had I completely agree, but I remember when I did that. Like I remember I did this one piece that took me like uh, let's see, uh, first work took me like three months to do because it was the first time I designed stuff, and I did like you said, like you spend hours and days and weeks on that, and mm. it's like and then you release it, and this is really stupid for me, but you got like two likes and like holy shit, mm. why is this not taking off and then you make something like you know a sci-fi gun in two hours and it gets this amount of likes and it's like <laughs> it's like you, you know it's not that it's contesting but at the same time i am way more proud of that robot no matter what people say then well, let's have a look let's digest it i'll digest it i hope you yeah look at the let's look at the robot oh yeah let me look at it all right um it could it could be a thing of the thing is what took you so long to do it 
when you when you're it's working just the on design, that design, I think the design, just the roundness of it, and yeah. inc incorporating the, the the harsh. So you're looking at the back. Go down. So yeah. go go to I'll the back of the design. Up. Where's yeah. the back? If you go down, okay. All right, go up a little bit, just a tad. Okay, you see. All right, zoom out again. I can yeah. break down your design. I can tell you what looks yeah. um, uh, something that. So if you look at the the legs, right? There's lots of cogs yeah. and stuff. You probably should have made a guard for that, and then like a a little mid like flap, so like a little guard. You know, like the shoulders, how they have like a guard on it, just like a guard yeah. there, and then yeah. like another secondary guard. Because what what happens is is like you're looking at the top of that design, right? I reckon the top of the design really cool. If you put your hand on the screen and just put it on the bottom of the design and covered up yeah. some of the arms and the legs, is is that your the leg part is like so many complex parts there is that you're mixing it's way too much, yeah. You're mixing yeah. nude with non nude. It's like it's yeah, half like nude. Heavy right? armor, it's a bit like, like it yeah, would exactly. it would make sense if you remove the shoulder pads and the back cover and then you think, well, this is a this is the internal skeleton. And I think what what happens yeah. is you combined two things. So you're like looking at it, it's like this is somewhat simple, but then incredibly um, complicated on the lower part. And it's like yeah, exactly. It's, it's just a, absolutely right. Yeah, yeah. yeah. So the, the top just part, that's really well. really great um, detailing. The lights are great, but then the thing is, you look down, and it and it's it's, it's like well, that's internals. You know, it's like looking. Um, you know how you see the the DARPA robots and they take the covers off it. And they're not that yeah. they're not that impressive, but when they put the cover on it, and they get yeah, that like when it comes slick, all together, yeah. yeah, because it's 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 like you you mixed two techniques and it just didn't work. But I can yeah. see I can see where you spent the time, <laughs> and that's the thing is <laughs> yeah yeah I can see where you spent it because you didn't keep bash any of this, did you? No, exactly, and it's like that's like. But then again, like this would become like the source for more kit bashing, of mm. course, and then we take this apart. And that mm. would kind of become a kid batch problem on its own. Yeah. But uh, yeah, I, I completely keep it. You like seeing it now. So like, yeah, this is bare minimum. Well, bare minimum in protection. Well, the thing way is, way too much detail. Yeah. The thing is, with, with kit bashing, um, it's easier to to grab the shapes and then maneuver them in such a way where you can see where the shapes go that produce the most aesthetically appealing um, arrangement yeah. of those shapes. And so. The difference is you didn't have a predetermined shape to experiment with and what you didn't have also is a concept at the start and the way you work is you like to detail on little things yeah. so the thing is you kind of trapped yourself because say if you you built out a block out for this you probably wouldn't have trapped yourself as much no i would have been yeah. stuck in this process yeah. the time and i would have probably, yeah you're probably right I yeah mean, i'm pretty sure you were right uh, I was just being stuck I, I still, in that. I, st I, would, I, would, I would advise you. I know you probably don't want to do it. Don't get too hunkered in on the details and working no, in one yeah, area. Yeah. Do do just like a broad block out. I know you don't want to do it, but I think you would avoid that mistake for sure. Yeah. I would say for sure you probably sure. avoid that mistake. Um, it, it, look, it's always tempting. I, I used to do that as well. I used to work like that and, and do that with some things. And you do, you kind of like shoot yourself in the foot because you're getting a, a too... Uh, two ahead of you i would say the um the render for this one probably let it down there with the kid just sitting and looking yeah. at it <laughs> no, the end of it was like no, no, i look at it it's like the kid feels like it's just photoshopped in there as yeah. well it's like, <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> and like no even the balloon is like it's super reflective like, you, you, you put you put i can see you put you put a shit ton of work because <laughs> the thing is you'd have to like what well, did you model the kid yeah, 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 I'm all yeah, the kids. Him and like you had the, to model the vehicles, that. all the stuff, all the shit in the back of like that vehicle yeah, is there. Like the whole, the different leg integrations, it's all there. Like little, to, uh, the yeah. little end or something. I mean, the, the thing is though, people don't see that. People just think you probably just got a scan of With a, a kid. With a yeah. And the thing is, look, you yeah. had to make a fucking balloon as well. Like <laughs> you're, <laughs> you're like a little fucking robot that cleans the floor or something. I was like. <laughs> Just, uh, that, and then there's this horrible texture on the floor. I don't know. This paint. This is the worst museum ever. Well, look at the look at the warning <laughs> stripes. <laughs> yeah. Look, there, there's a thing of that. Like, if if um, I could probably grab that same design and render it for you, without changing yeah. it. And the thing is, I can make it look better. 
But the thing is, yeah. um, cinematography is a big thing. Lighting and cinematography, which is like a whole different thing. Like I try to take a lot of pride in lighting and, and getting the right shot. Like I'm not sure how long how long did you spend on getting the right shot? Like well, moving the it's camera. It's gonna be around. embarrassing, but maybe maybe like maybe ten ten minutes maximum. See that, and there that's you go. Mistake. That it's could like be if you spend mistake. so much time yeah, if you spend so much time making the robot, I should have spent way more time on the I, I, I do the, uh, I do a thing where I go, okay, ten to twenty percent of the time that I actually spent on making it, I try and give it the same respect in a way weird way. Yeah. And I think if you're giving it like one one to zero point one percent because that's, that's what you <laughs> did it's like, it's like, that's that's what i deserve it's like, like well if that, that's you what, take one shot and be like done yeah yeah you gave it zero point one you could have probably just like gave it like five percent and it would have been way better but yeah <laughs> yeah if you spent 10 minutes doing something that took you three months you can like yeah yeah you can definitely see because well yeah yeah like cinematography like that cinematography for doing things that you you've essentially got a three D camera right you 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 can do everything the movies can do yeah and you can do crazy yeah. stuff and I think people forget that and you could play with the depth of field like you the way you should have shot this is like you did the opposite right you should have been at the kid's eye line level and probably and yeah. seeing the size of and the robot the size and of, shit. And the yeah is, exactly. And, and, don't, and you don't need to see the whole fucking museum to this. You just had to focus on the robot, yeah. not the whole. Yeah. Good point. But yeah. You get carried yeah. away because you want to like. I want to <laughs> show them everything. <laughs> yeah. It's it's no. It's, you're completely right. Yeah. Yeah. It's the, it's that's that's another practice is restraint, um, practicing restraint in in work, and I think people don't um, actually realize they have to actually practice that. It's a practice because you can actually like like with you, you get carried away. You have to like. Yeah. practice to not it's like not eating too much food right you could go and eat a shit ton of food and be like well, why to do that right it's the same thing you could you know yeah you can do that with your work and like i used to, i've done it like i've done it with um a few of my designs and i'm like why the fuck do i just keep on detailing it because at the time you get um this dopamine like a uh, constant dopamine feed you're like i'm gonna do this do this and do this and it looks better and better and it does look better and better but you i, I always think um people get drugged up on their own work at times and you get high yeah. on your own supply. <laughs> it's like, so and it's like, you just, you just add more details just mm. to keep yourself confident and be like, yeah, yeah. If I add some more stuff, it's going to look cool. And it's going to, but sometimes you just need to step back and be like, yeah, it's, it's Let, been that, look, the always, main shape carries it. That's it. Always yeah. try and remember that thing. Like I, this, this is probably something you actually need to say to yourself inside your head. You go less is more. Less is more. Exactly. Less is more. Definitely. Like have that be like a mantra for you. Like less is more. Like I think it would help you in um, definitely uh, reserving when you do need more and you have the energy for it. Because I do see like like you've got you've got a really good focus and you've got a really good um, like sense of uh, drive and things like that. So no, but yeah, that's it's it's always weird. Like you always look at those projects that you did fuck up and you think oh yeah, <laughs> yeah it's like yeah <laughs> but everyone's everyone's got them everyone's got those projects that they did fuck up it's it's totally normal it's human you can't like you can't make everything amazing and great and um yeah i think it yeah definitely you, you learn from them you become you become better as long as you remember why you fucked it up and, yeah 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 and where you should spend more time in where mm. less exactly yeah, yeah. no yeah for sure all right. Well, how long have we been chatting? I think we've been chatting for about an hour and a half. Trying to yeah. I'm trying to keep these these videos to about an hour and a half. I think people um cool. yeah might not watch them past that point. But um yeah, like, like it's been awesome chatting. And uh, yeah, after this uh, after the recording, I'll, I'll I'll chat to you a little bit further. Just I uh, want to ask you about your references and stuff like that. But um, yeah, yeah. No all right. I'll, I'll definitely pack them. I'll clean them up a bit because there's some stuff in there that is probably like. Uh, not should not be seen by people like oh, that's all professional good. stuff yeah some concept arts you know from from the studio like oh, i'll take this home and i'll, I'll mm. use it in my reference folder uh i need to no, clean it up it's, a bit it's, it's but uh, i'll definitely clean it i'll send it i'll definitely because i think if i go into that folder now uh, i think it's like over two thousand files let's see um i'll see i'm pretty sure yeah, i've got references and i yeah. think I've, i usually have references of a lot of artists and stuff i'm not sure if i've got i do have references but i'll have to have a look and i'll, I'll gather them as well but yeah. yeah, all right, man. Sweet. Um, but I'll pack it up and I'll send it to you. Yeah, sweet. it's been good, to, good chatting, and hope hope everyone got yeah. something from this uh, chat. And uh, like and subscribe yeah. if um, you guys want to see more of this stuff. And uh, even if um, you want people to return, uh, let me know. And I guess uh, yeah, we just keep on doing this thing. All right, guys. All right, I'll. Uh,
talk to everyone later. You want to say bye? Bye. Bye. Bye all. See See you guys.